You should be getting a new Insight Infinite about the audio team this week, but will it happen? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So it's hard to believe, but we're getting towards the end of March already, everybody. And since we're approaching the end of the month, that means we should be getting a new Inside Infinite update for us to go check out. For the month of March, it's gonna be about the audio team, but what will that update contain? And is there anything exciting about it? Well, let's take a look into it. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you wanna see some more content like this. If you wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. Now, I would make the argument that audio is just as important as the graphics and the visuals of a game as well. I always felt like the visuals are a nice way to kind of put you in the setting, but I always felt like the audio is something that really immerses you in there. So in this video, we'll cover everything you come to expect when it comes to the audio side of things of Halo Infinite, and we'll end the video off with some speculation I think would be pretty spot on in my opinion. So we originally had a bit of an insight about Halo Infinite's audio development with their Instagram Instagram page. They were sharing these monthly videos or just showcasing them recording certain audios. But some videos within that Instagram page definitely sparked up a lot of conversation. One in particular was the pug Gyoza sounding like this. <laughs> Now, a lot of people have speculated that's the flood, that they're just gonna use that pug as the flood. And honestly, they could get away with that because I think it just needs a little bit of audio tweaking, but that's about it. That pug sounds like the flood, but it also does kind of sound like a grunt to me as well. So there are many different ways they could take these different bits of audio. The one audio recording video that really got my attention, honestly, was this one. Yeah, they recorded a helicopter and a jet engine. So one vehicle that comes to my mind is the Falcon potentially returning in Halo Infinite because that vehicle alone has jet propulsion and also blade propulsion as well, sounding like a helicopter and a bit of a fighter jet at the same time, which gets me really excited about that vehicle because I love that vehicle. It's definitely my favorite vehicle in all of Halo. It's like an airborne tank. How is that not awesome? So I do expect to see maybe the team cover a little bit of how they've gone about doing their recordings of different sound effects uh, in within the game. We've also had a bit of a spotlight when it comes to the music that's gonna be in this game. I know a lot of people love the music of Halo, myself included. It's one of those games that has, the soundtrack is just as important as feel when it comes to like the audio as a whole when it comes to the game. You know, it's right up there with like me, like the Doom soundtrack. Like I want the Doom soundtrack sounding awesome. I want the Halo soundtrack also sounding awesome. We've had a bit of a spotlight when it comes to some of the composers as well, with some of the music being posted here on YouTube. Link in the description down below if you wanna check out those videos. Overall, it seems like the music's taking a lot of combat evolved inspiration when it comes to the music, which makes sense because they are taking a lot of influences from combat evolves openness when it comes to some of the level design to just multiply that throughout the entire game. So it can make sense to see that happen. I felt like Halo music throughout the last few years have been kind of missing something. Uh, something like ever since Mario O'Donnell left because you know he was with Bungie and ever since Bungie left, it just kind of lacked a little bit of like a magical kind of atmospheric kind of sound to the whole thing. It was very like action movie focused kind of sci-fi stuff. I feel like with this one, they're really trying to bring back to that kind of mysterious sci-fi-ish kind of sound. Obviously, it might be a little difficult nowadays to kind of record music because, you know, they would love to use like live strings, live instruments within a band and stuff like that. But obviously with the whole pandemic situation getting in the way of that, it might have had to do some kind of interesting workarounds to make that happen. 
and talk about interesting workarounds when it comes to recording audio voiceovers. I have a strong feeling we'll see something from 343 talking about the voice actors within this game. We recently saw an interview with Master Chief himself, Steve Downs, talking about his experience while recording. Basically, they had like a set up of like a little bit of a booth that he put up with like a call with one of the directors and he just basically delivered lines while on a call kind of thing uh, to just get some form of direction and stuff like that so there's been some really interesting workarounds on how to potentially get around this whole situation that we're in right now in the world this also kind of plays into a little bit of speculation about later on in this video about voice actors and what we might see within as in content wise for this development update i think also with this inside the infinite development update a big thing is going to be coming about is the vision what they want to do for halo infinite was the feel that they want to get for halo infinite that's the two things i think that really audio really helps bring out within a game is how is the game feel it brings out emotions brings out terror excitement happiness joy so how is halo infinite gonna feel within the game well i feel like that's what's going to be put a big part into this next upcoming development update but when can we expect this update to come out well in january they did outline saying inside infinite is a recurring series that will hit halo waypoint on approximately the last thursday of every month well the last thursday of march is well this week so could we get that update Maybe, actually, we might see a little bit later because the last day of this month is on a Wednesday. Maybe the buy 343 a little bit of extra time we might have to see it come out like on a Tuesday or Wednesday for that Inside Infinite update or it could release this Thursday. Now to the speculation side of things, what could we see as in content when it comes to this development update? Well, one thing I think we might see is a new weapon or a new vehicle reveal. Something that really showcases the audio that they had to kind of mix and put together to make this certain piece of content within Halo be awesome. I am crossing my fingers for the Falcon reveal. I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping for that because I think it's a, it's, it takes a lot of coordination. It takes a lot of effort to try to record like a helicopter and a jet engine and then maybe try to splice that together to make it into a functional sound within the game. That would be a pretty interesting little story how they put that all together. We already know that there are a ton of new weapons coming in with Halo Infinite, so it would be really cool to see how those audio bits are being made for that weapon in particular. One thing that I think is actually probably the most likely thing that will happen for content-wise with this Inside Infinite update is having Halsey Journal Recording Part 2. If you guys remember in last month's development update, there was this little audio from Halo Infinite. How many now? 16 systems shut down so far. Seemingly random locations. I'm attempting to lock her and the others out of the main- You will not be able to stop her. She knows more about how this all works than, well, anyone. Dr. Halsey. John. What's the plan? The plan? Right now, we are in survival mode, again. Cortana's message has spread across the galaxy. Most sentient AI are siding with her. Against us? Yes. But maybe not you. Tell me, John. What was the last thing she said to you? She said... Goodbye. Little bits of audio like this are so cool. It just leads to so much more speculation and interest with what's going on with Halo Infinite. And I think they could probably build on top of this as we saw it last month. And we're talking about the audio team, but better yet to have like a radio drama like kind of thing we had with the Hunt the Truth back with uh, Halo 5's development. Why not bring that on with Halo Infinite? It seemed to work out pretty well. And I would highly suspect to see part two just because, you know, it's an audio recording. It's an audio drama kind of thing. Probably expect to see something like that happen. It did say part one within the audio recording as well for the name of the file. So I totally would expect to see multiple parts come out as in we probably see part two with this update. Though I don't feel that will be the only audio clip that we'll get in here. I have a feeling we'll probably get like maybe two or three total audio clips, giving some kind of example of what to expect with the game or something that might hint at something more. Like you might just hear like birds chirping in the background, right? And then you hear like a loud thump of like, Stomp, stomp of like footsteps. I know that's my acting ability right there. Really kind of giving you some ominous sounds of what to expect and what might be coming. Something to kind of give some more kind of stuff to speculate, speculate on, think about, and just kind of go off the deep end of with what it was. The last development update did a great job of this, of actually showing us stuff in game, giving us a little bit of audio, and just kind of giving us some kind of sense of what to expect with Halo Infinite. Now, one thing February's development update did a great job of is 
screenshots showcasing the world of Halo Infinite. Will we get some more screenshots? Maybe, maybe not, just because this is involving audio, which obviously you can't see audio. Big brain Kevin coming in with his great observations coming in. So could we see screenshots? I think absolutely. Would they happen? Eh, maybe less likely than last month. I think we'll probably see a lot of pictures of people's like home setups when it comes to audio recordings, because I'm sure a lot of them are just kind of like, hey, we're just making the best of what we can with, what we, with the situation. But let me know what you want to see in the Inside Infinite Development update for the audio team. If you guys like these news and informational videos, want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. Miss any content for me? Check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.